Hey everyone, Jonathan and Molly here, and welcome to Savoring the Magic, where we believe there is magic in the details. That's right. So today we are here in Islands of Adventure, and we are in one of the opening lands, uh, which is Seuss Landing. Seems pretty appropriate. This video is going to be releasing on March 2nd, which is actually Dr. Seuss's birthday. So, come along with us on this whimsical adventure. So Islands of Adventure was the second gate to open here at Universal Orlando. It opened on May 28, 1999. The concept was that the park itself would have themed islands, and one of those islands would be themed to Dr. Seuss. The rights of which were licensed from Dr. Seuss Enterprises. The attractions and eateries are all themed to Theodore Geisel's most famous works. So one of the more unique features of this land is that it features very few straight lines, if any, matching with the illustration style of the various Dr. Seuss titles. Even palm trees curved by Hurricane Andrew were used in the land to complete this non-linear effect. The whimsical approach to the land is seen in its layout, but also in its color scheme. So, also want to note that while uh, you can see other things from here, especially on the trolley ride, you can see like yeah. all the violence of adventure from that. Um, this land in particular was kind of ahead of its time on the immersion side of things. Um, sure. Because you do feel like you're just walking through Dr. Seuss books while you're going through here. And of course now immersion is like the buzzword for all theme park design. You know, yeah. look at what they're doing with Epic. Look at what we've done in Harry Potter and Batu and Pandora and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. But for 1999 or 1998, whatever year that was, late 90s, it's yeah. it's still pretty incredible and still holds up. So we're going to go walk around. We're going to kind of show you guys everything to be found here. And uh, yeah, just immerse you in the world of Dr. Seuss. It's a pretty good zoo, said young Gerald McGrew. And the fellow who runs it seems proud of it, too. But if I ran the zoo, said young Gerald McGrew, I'd make a few changes. That's just what I do. The If I Ran a Zoo area was an opening day area. It's a play area for kids. There are tubes, there are caves, there's like a whole water area. It uses Gerald McGrew's fantastic creatures to populate his zoo, and it is interactive. Right, don't miss the footprints of things escaping from said zoo. So I don't That's right, it's a great touch. It is. So, of course, even the trash cans here are in themed. That's right, a whimsical trash can. Whimsical Who knew? trash can, gotta love it. So, the main attraction here in Seuss Landing is, of course, the Cat in the Hat Dark Ride. It's a classic attraction, lots of practical animatronics telling the story of the Cat in the Hat, and of course, thing one and thing two, wrecking havoc. So a little fun fact is the, the actual hat on the outside of the attraction is 31 feet tall. Which seems accurate as we're looking at it right now. <laughs> the interior is so cool. <laughs> With scenes from the book and everything. Italian. Literally we are. This is what we're doing. <laughs> and it should be said, if you're riding the cat in the hat attraction, it exits into this door. Now unbuckle your belt and exit your seat. Don't run, skip, hop, or jump. Just walk on your feet. And then we have one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. A Dumbo style attraction, but you know, to Dr. Seuss and all of its whimsical characters. It is pretty cool um, as far as if you listen to the intro and the outro narration, it is in the style of Dr. Seuss. Like everything kind of rhymes and has a cadence to it. So just a fun little thing about this ride. Yeah, all the instructions and everything. But... Yeah, very cute. Of course, it wouldn't be a themed land without some nice themed topiaries. That's true. This is apparently Chippendale Muff, the sleep book. So he's sleeping? Yeah. The birds are around as well. Bonus, real wildlife. Real wildlife. Seussian birds. <laughs> they really don't fit the color scheme of the land, I gotta say. Uh, That's right. If I ran the circus, the acrobat. His hands are very unsettling. He's, the entire thing's unsettling. Yeah. This bird's about to eat you. Um, hoodwink. Hoodwink. 
It looks like a hoodwink. <laughs> of terror. I'm Aww. assuming these gates are here because people have started to mess with these. <laughs> Yes, there are barricades now in front yes. of all these. I mean, it's a good call. Some might say someone was hoodwinked. <laughs> look how they look like circus, like train cars out front, by the way. I like, like how that. they have just giant stakes in the ground. Yes. The yeah, and then the outside looks like different, like circus train cars that the tent has been put over. It's very cool. It is. So this is like the main eatery in the land. There are a couple of places that you can get food at, but the Circus McGurkis Cafe, stupendous, is the main one, so. Outside of the main cafe, you have a few other little stops. Um, everything in Seuss Landing is counter service. So you have the Green Eggs and Ham Cafe over on the far left whenever you enter. You have Hop on Pop Ice Cream Shop for sweet treats. And then toward the back, as you exit, you have the Moose Juice Goose Juice stand. Lorax was always my favorite as a kid. The Lorax was always very cool and had this very clear message about conservationism in it. So, of course we liked it. Um, I even like how the path changes. This is one of those cool parts of the land that, you know, it's easy to walk past and not notice. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. Very nice. Timely. Timely, I know. <laughs> Sorry, that was that was really close on your face. Man. It is actually telling the story. Is it? Yeah. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go over here to this one that's a little more height appropriate <laughs> for me. So, you know, we found out so we can report this to you guys where it says listen. You should actually listen. It's telling the story of the war. The more you know. Aww. That's cool. More of the story. You should read the. You should read the Lorax. <laughs> I'm not sure. <laughs> Don't trip on this. The the brightly colored the brightly thing. Brightly colored thing to that, help I, you know. that you back not into while trying to get a shot. But yeah, basically, read the Lorax and come walk through the I really wish I had fallen completely because that would have been a great <laughs> life. Oh man, it would not have been great for me. I would have been like... Oh. Oh. I was like, can we say that only we would find Seuss land hazardous? You know what I mean? Like... Yes. The land made for children. Yes, the land made for children. So one of the opening day attractions was the Carousel. It features an imaginary um, assortment of creatures from the mind of Dr. Seuss. You can ride on an elephant bird, a cowfish, or you know, just whatever creature there is. And the creatures are interactive, so whenever you pull the reins or tweak the levers, the creatures do move and kind of open their eyes and blink and stuff like that. So easily my favorite store in Seuss Landing because, look, and not just because it's books, but look at the theming with it. It looks like the books are holding the building up. And they have a little reading area in here we're about to show you. But it really is the cutest store to me in this land. Sorry, I love books. And I just think this is so cute. They even have like pages and stuff that kids can color. It's a nice little area. It is. So if you do have littles, just remember that this is here. Um, kind of a nice place to kind of chill out. And they do have like, quite a variety of different style books for different ages. Yeah, so I mean, like, they even have, like, you know, the little board books and stuff for super little kids. Much hardier than some of the others. And yeah, I mean, like, Dr. Seuss Nursery and stuff. So the High in the Sky Seuss Trolley Train Ride was added in 2006. It wanders through the story of the Sneetches, or alternatively, a Seussian alphabet of storybook characters. And be sure to look down the building rooftops as you go along, um, and you'll find some familiar Seuss figures. That's cute. It's a kid's entrance. I'm not going through it. I'm not pulling away the poo again. It would be complete without a kid's entrance. You're not pulling away the poo. <laughs> so, I don't know if you guys uh, realize this, but 
you can go into the tree at the entrance of Mini Adventures Winnie the Pooh, right? There's like a small kid's door. And we were trying to find a ride tribute in there six months ago. So I just went down and went right through it, only to find a full-size adult door on the other side. So the more you know. Oh, look, there it is. Said kid's entrance. <laughs> I'm not going You're through. You've got the crawl Okay. No, I was going to have my picture taken with it. But <laughs> I thought that would be a funny <laughs> picture for the thing. But one thing I do love is the all the air conditioning work up here. It's all themed. Yeah. And there's yeah. something snoring. There's I don't know what it's supposed to be. snoring. Well, Sometimes I guess it's supposed to be these things. It's kind of terrifying. It was up right there. <laughs> Also, don't come for me. I don't remember all the names of these things in Dr. Seuss books. Oh, you people know why? Will. They will come for you. I'm 34. I don't remember, okay? I don't remember. Shameful. It's been a long time. Shameful. She doesn't know your name. <laughs> she does not. She does not. You're you can't you can adopt but... these cute, whatever they are. He looks like he needs adopting, so you should really consider it. Yup, yup. <laughs> I thought that was an Ewok. <laughs> it's not. Don't come for me. I know, it, I know what the song is. His oh, name. look. I do know his name. His, Boom. Name, his name is Elephant. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're the wrong people to be doing this video. <laughs> and the Lorax? I do know what the Lorax is. Uh, yeah. Look at that. One. We're not totally idiots. Oh, for nine. <laughs> I know what thing one and thing two are. Boom. Boom. Oh. And of course, all the thing one, thing two, thing, 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 thing. Yep. That's not the word. Also, if you're expecting, you can even have future, future things. things. <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. Yeah, that is. I thought it was funny. This kind of makes me laugh, mainly because I just get kind of tickled about the idea of just calling the person that you love a thing. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, in, I'm yes. in love with that thing. That thing, yes. <laughs> Every time I'm in here in this land, I have to point out this shirt. I like that, that one. one. Nope, other one. This? Oh, I know. I like that oh. one. I know that's the one you like. <laughs> I just think it's funny. It's a cute salt and pepper shaker. I know. In a very mischievous looking cookie jar. Although it is kind of funny to see Grinch messed up in here in February. Yes. It's like the Flash ye old Christmas March. shop. Yeah, that's the true. The ye old Grinch shop. Ye old Grinch shop. I'll tell you, you don't want to be carrying this around on a rainy day in Florida. Well, it'll look very sad at the end. <laughs> it wouldn't look Be sad. sure you get a poncho for the Grinch. Yep. <laughs> That's pretty fantastic. Oh, well, it was funny. Mm -hmm. I did see something our dad needs. Oh, really? This is <laughs> as it gets. Accurate. It's for you, Dad. Yeah. White beard and the black spectacles. It's supposed to be Dr. Seuss. Of course, lots of characters that come out throughout the day in several different areas. So this is one of them that's not far from the Mulberry Street store. And then the last store that you can walk through is Snookers and Snookers Sweet Candy Cookers. And I can't believe I actually just got that out in one take, but here we are. And they had some really cute uh, desserts themed to the land and then just also stuff that looked delicious. So there you go. So we hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough of the whimsical land that is Seuss Landing. Um, have you ever been through this part? I'm sure you probably have, but if so, comment and let us know what are some of your favorite parts. That's right. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. It really helps us out. We have videos coming out every week, but until next time, keep, keep saving the magic. magic.